Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from Proverbs 19, beginning in verse number one, where God says, Better is the poor that walks in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. And always remember that when God refers to somebody as a fool, it's talking about somebody who has no regard for God and no regard for the word of God. So what God is saying here is it's better to be an honest, poor person than a rich liar. If you, if you must lie to make a living or to get ahead, so-called, then you're headed down the wrong road. You're in the wrong business and you need to just do what is right and trust God that he will take care of you for as long as he wants you to be here. That's what trusting God is, you know. It is, the Bible says, do good and trust God. Those two go together. You can't, you're not trusting God if you're not doing good. Trusting God is doing good, knowing that he appreciates it, knowing that he will meet all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. You have his promise. If we seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, if you do good, if you put him first, then all other things that you need will be added unto you, meaning everything that you need to be here for as long as he wants you to be here until he wants you to die and to do what he wants you to do will be given to you. Verse 2. Also that the soul be without knowledge is not good, and he that hastens with his feet sins. It is not good to have zeal without knowledge, because zeal without knowledge is always going to be destructive. You know what zeal without knowledge is? It's like a wildfire. A lot of energy there. But it but it gets out of control. There's no control. Zeal without knowledge is a wire wildfire that causes trouble. It is a lot of energy and a lot of problems as a result of all that energy that's unrestrained and ungoverned. The more often than not, you're going to you're going to cause harm when you have zeal without knowledge a lot of harm no good and notice again verse 2 also that the soul be without knowledge is not good and he that hastens with his feet sins this is so good so practical he that hastens with his feet sins and this builds actually on the first part of this verse. Do not be hasty or you're going to miss the way and you're going to run into all sorts of trouble. In other words, think about what you are going to do and think about what you are going to say before you say it and before you do it. Don't be hasty with your feet. That's not good. You're going to head into a lot of trouble. It's, un it's unbridled zeal. Same thing. Haste only makes matters worse. If you're going to solve a problem, then don't be hasty about it. Instead, pray about it. Think about it. Examine it before you do something. Or chances are you are going to make matters worse. And so it's so important to spend time with God so you have in the word so you have this this reservoir of truth in your soul that will help you make the right decisions rather than hasty decisions decisions that are made with zeal but not according to knowledge study all of god's word with me at the bible verse by verse dot com there you can choose click and listen from four complete series going through the whole bible verse by verse now, if you want to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. 
And when you take a break from studying with me at the BibleVerseByVerse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture, Verse by Verse, and Coffee Break. So long, everyone.